How's it going guys, 1FO here, and today I'm going to be showing you all of the best Shindo Life scripts. So as you can see, these are all of the scripts right here, and if you're looking for them, all the links will be in the description. So yeah. And as you can see, they do have really good auto farms on them, but there's also some pretty cool stuff on them, like you can collect all the scrolls in the game. You can infinitely and also automatically spin, so you can get pretty much any bloodline you want. And of course, there's also some PvP features for combat and just player versus player stuff. So if you're looking for them, all the links will be in the description. But yeah, so starting off, I'm going to come over here to this Project Nexus script, which is this purple one over here. And honestly, VG Hub is probably just as good as this one, but this script also doesn't have any keys on it. And the auto farm is just a lot faster. So if I scroll down, as you can see, you also have auto rank. You could do event bosses, you could farm different game modes. You can do auto stats, which is pretty easy to understand. As you can see, I have 1000 points. And let's say I want to put them all into my tie stat. So I could just click that and it's going to go into Thai, or I can do Nin. Let's turn that off and on. Now we could do the Nin stat. We could also do HP. There we go. It's going to go into the different stats now. And it's just going to keep filling it up until it runs out. And yeah, so pretty cool scripts overall. You also have some other stuff down here like God Mode, which is called Immortal and also a no cooldown. So I don't actually have any abilities on this account. Let's see if I can equip something. Let's equip all these right here. There we go. Okay, so now I should be able to just do this and have no cooldown at all. So let's click this, click on G or F. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I don't have any cooldowns in the bottom. I'm not exactly sure what the requirements are for this, but I'm pretty sure you have to have like tin tails or something. So kind of unfortunate. But yeah, the God mode does work. That's going to be for PvP and also for the... Oh yeah, right there, as you can see, it says get some um, tail gen one out of two. So I do need to get um, 10 tails or tin tails, whatever it's called. You can also do dungeon farms, um, boss farms, normal boss farms, boss quests. And then as I was showing you earlier, if you come over here and select fast TP, cooldown punch, and also all, you could just click this button. Boom, it's going to start farming your quest. So if you're trying to level up, this is definitely the fastest way to do that. I mean, this is just doing like so much more damage than I'd be doing normally. As you can see, I'm at level 66 now, 68, 70, 72, 73, really, really fast. Let's see how fast I can get to level 100, 73, and I have so many points over here. Let's try to put them all in the tie. So let's click this and put in 900. Okay, there we go. Now we should be able to kill these guys a little bit faster. Level 100. Oh no, that one's not level 100. I got my points and levels mixed up, but yeah. You guys can tell how fast this is leveling me up, and if you want to make it even faster, you can come over here and also do all this other stuff. So you can farm in a private server in any of these different worlds here, so I could pick any of these. For me, I think I'm in Ember right now, so I would just click that. And we're almost at level 100. I'm going to stop the auto farm when we get there. It'll be pretty soon. 3, 2, 1, there we go. Boom. So level 100, what did that take? Like maybe 30 seconds? So 50 levels in 30 seconds is of course just completely insane and you can also fly with this script over here so that's what I've been using to fly around the map you just click the H key boom you could fly around the map and if you want to collect all the scrolls in the game you can also do that geez what are we leveling up from oh my I don't know what's going on right now but I just got like 20 levels maybe I like completed a quest or something I'm not really sure pretty cool you can collect all the scrolls, auto rank, which I can't really do right now because I'm such a low level. But yeah, that's all the stuff that there is in this script. This is going to be Project Nexus. So moving on to the second script, that's going to be VG Hub, as you can see. Pretty easy. This is like basically the same stuff. You have your God Mode, which is the same thing as the Immortal on this script. You can auto farm the logs, which is kind of good, I guess, if you're trying to get some like EXP, but it's kind of slow. But one good thing about this is that nobody can see you when you're auto farming because as you can tell I'm actually below the map so they can't even see my name or anything and all they're gonna see is that this snowman is like taking some damage but yeah as I said this is not the fastest auto farm you could probably tell I mean I am getting like a couple levels like maybe every 20 seconds but of course this this script also does have a normal auto farm so I can click on auto farm mobs and it should put me below them and just start punching them which is definitely a lot faster but as I said earlier, this script over here has way faster auto farm. So if you're just trying to use these scripts for an auto farm, then I definitely recommend you go with Nexus Hub or sorry, no Project Nexus. So pretty nice. If I come over here, you can also do um, semi instant kill, which might seem like intriguing. You might want to do that, but I definitely recommend you don't do it because sometimes I get kicked for doing that. And I'm not going to show you because I don't want to get kicked from the game. 
but I think if you have like low damage output then it's not going to kick you because it doesn't actually notice that you're using it. Here's the auto farm boss, like this. I, I don't know why it's killing this guy, I don't think that's a boss. Oh, never mind, it's going over here to this guy, and this is definitely a boss, that's huge. It looks like we're killing... I don't. I can't tell if this is the boss or if that guy over there is the boss. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Let me turn this off. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, really know what that was. Oh, geez, we died. That's what happened. So, yeah, I could fly around while I'm dead. So, if, let's say I'm knocked out. I think I'm about to turn into a scroll. Oh, never mind. There we go. So, I'm back in the action. You can also copy some VIP server codes if you want to do uh, solo farming. There's infinite jump. Uh, B wired, which just gets rid of your arms and legs. And yeah, tons of other really weird stuff on this script, but it's still a really good GUI with some basic things like auto farms along with some like movement features. And then additionally, you also have ESP, automatic skill press, and then God mode and also like auto stats. So pretty nice. Let's click on auto taijutsu just to show you it works probably a lot smoother than the other GUI, honestly. But yeah, that's all there is on this script. There's no like second tab. It's just this main tab on the left. You can also set some settings for the auto farm. And I guess that brings us over here to the final GUI, which is going to be called just light. There's nothing else on it. I think it used to be called snow hub, but here it is. So you have light. Let's move this down. So yeah, pretty easy to understand how this one works as well. You basically just have your auto farms, your boss farm, and then your scroll farm below it, which says silent because no one can see it. You also have the auto rank, auto collect scrolls. Let's see if I can actually show you the auto collect scroll. I don't know if there are any scrolls around, but I guess that's what it would do. And here's one of my favorite features to mess around with because as you can see right now this is my avatar and if i want to change it i can switch the outfit boom now i have a blue shirt switch it again now i have a green shirt you could change the hair change your beard now i have like that weird mask on we could change our cloak here we go oh, i don't know what these like access things are on the bottom but i've never seen another script that actually lets you do this so here's our normal avatar you can see and then I can change the beard, change the outfit, make it like gray. And now you can see my actual avatar is gray. Definitely a really cool feature. I've never seen that on another GUI, like I said. So pretty good scripts. And I'm not sure if I'm going to showcase the fourth script in this video. But pretty much what that is, is a automatic spin where you just type in the spin or not the spin, the bloodline or the element that you want to spin for. And then you're just going to automatically spin for it. But yeah, they're definitely a cool script over there. And if you want a bloodline changer, I'll also have that linked with the um, bloodline spinning thing. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you can, and as always, peace.